in the lead up to and during the month of December, I had an explosion of blooms that just happened to bloom in my favorite color, which is purple. This video is a chill purple mania orchid blooms video, and I hope you enjoy the show from bud to bloom, including an epic fail of an orchid that was looking so promising. But all I can show you are amazing deep purple buds. It started out with my Van der Chau Friar coming into bloom for the second time within the same calendar year, but this time one of the side branches bloomed for the first time with two spikes. This orchid is a reliable bloomer for me, despite the fact that she has to tolerate low temps down to 5 degrees Celsius, but she is holding on, and her blooms last a good part of two months when she blooms, starting November through mid-January. This year is the first time that I have had botrytis on the blooms, but that is because I now have to miss the whole orchid from higher up because there are aerial roots all the way up there. The fine mist landing on the blooms in combination with cooler temperatures resulted in botrytis, but I did a video on that where you can see the fungus on the blooms. Here, for this video, I'm showing you how beautiful and perfect they are. The fragrance of this orchid is insane even during the colder months of the year. She has a sugar blueberry fragrance that is now even more intense because of the four spikes. I absolutely love this orchid and I'm glad she's doing so well. Next up, my unfortunate fail with my Zygonesia Murasaki Komachi. What a pity. Five buds were forming so well, and as per the way of anything Zygo, spikes form as the new growths grow, meaning we don't have to wait as long to enjoy blooms. Well, unfortunately, this spike went soft, and with that, the much anticipated blooming remains wishful thinking. Still, I'm including this orchid because the deep purple of the buds was such a pleasure to watch plump up. They truly were something extra, but unfortunately we were not blessed with the purple blooms. My Dendrobium Victoria Regina did not disappoint though. Forming buds for the third time within the calendar year, and considering that the temperatures are on par with what she likes during fall and winter here in southern Spain, I was not fearful of any buds blasting, unless I made a mistake when I bumped her up on a bigger mount while she was in bud. It all went well though, and this is what has been happening on the patio for the past eight weeks. I have always tried to capture the true depth depth of the purple color, and for that reason you see so many different color hues. I took the camera out at all times of the day to see if I could capture the true color, and then one day it happened. It was dusk, just as the sun had set, and well, those are the darker images, but the true color of my Victoria Regina is right there, finally. An incredible orchid. Then, wow, finally also my Darwinara Blue Charm bloomed. This orchid tried to bloom during the winter of 22-23, but the spike failed. So when I saw the spike forming this time around, a lot earlier than it usually pushes the spike, I was hopeful but fearful at the same time because the spikes grow very slowly and it would be time to bring the orchid inside, which again throws the risk of bud blast into the mix. Well, you can see that there was none of that, with the exception of the tip of the spike appearing to have been compromised, probably because I was moving it around on the shelf to make sure that the blooms open evenly. Regardless, this orchid makes me happy when I see it on the shelf. The blooms are already well into six weeks old, 
looking beautiful and the fragrance perfumes the indoor grow space with the classic neo Phoenicia van der Falcata fragrance of sugar sweet lemon citrus. It is a beautiful fresh fragrance and thankfully this orchid does not need any sun on the blooms to throw the fragrance out. Absolutely thrilled to have gotten this orchid to bloom out so successfully. And finally, I'm going to show you the fantastic color purple of my weirdo van der Kostylis Lusneri Blue. Most of the blooms are deformed, but this orchid blooms with blooms that have a holographic sheen to them. They open up deep purple, and as they age and are exposed to the sun, the hologram effect becomes more and more evident, creating a sparkle with different hues of purple. If you are happening to see this orchid in bloom for the first time, it is easy to understand why the first reaction would be what a shame. I had that for several years, but now this weirdo is a staple in my collection and I just appreciate the fact that she colors up like this on the patio at a time of year when things are harder to get to bloom out. And of course, I would not want to be without the loose neary fragrance of gardenia, sugar and lemon either. This orchid throws that fragrance out and competes easily with the Chow Prior that is within meters of this one during the winter. It cannot be ignored that she also has deep purple root tips when they are in active growth. It's just amazing. Weird, but amazing. If you have any questions about the orchids in this video, their care or anything else because you would like to know if you can cultivate them, please let me know. This video was a celebration of the color purple and I sincerely hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for all kinds of different orchid related content. Know that you are appreciated. Thank you so, so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day on the condition that you stay safe. Please take care. Bye.